Someone's like, oh, Miss, you have cankles, which I would have laughed at. And then she put, like, <laughs> sand in their gas tank. Doesn't that destroy the it engine? It literally ruins the engine. That's why I did it. How much was that car worth? She started fist fights all the time. She was a crazy bitch, I'm telling you. I, I did do a little bit of that back in the day, but not anymore. So Sasha said you have cankles. And you destroyed their car. She and then she would say, yeah, and then, and then she would off, make fun so. of fat people behind their back. So you're like, what is this? <laughs> what is this code that you're living by? <laughs> Welcome back to Cream Crew. How you doing, Tom? Very well. How you doing, sir? Oh, I couldn't be better. Today's guest is my mother again. Hi, mom. Most requested. Hello. Thank you. We'll put a little sound, like a little. Screeching pterodactyl. Oh. We're we'll have to blur you more this time. I don't know if you saw the people that were Thus saying trapped. very, very provocative things about you last time. I did. As I a did son, I don't know if them. I liked it. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Would that be? Well, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. God. <laughs> now, I, I wanted to get just start off real quick. I don't mean I don't want to pin us down, but you literally said before this thing started that you didn't think the internet was a big deal can you elaborate on what that means exactly <laughs> well i certainly can what do you want to know well how do you how, what do you mean the internet's not a big deal i guess i didn't know what it entailed i mean i just thought i yeah i wasn't thinking well, well how know. how long ago was this thought it seemed like it was just right now no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, I was thinking, I, I do realize, you know, it is a way to make a little bit of money nowadays. But back in the day when Hunter was a teenager, mm. didn't think it was that big of a deal. He we paid for it. the internet. And I was like, pretty sure we don't need that. So, mm. mm. kind of reminds me of like video games where, you know, I just you can't play he, games all day because right. you're not yeah. going to make money playing video games. And now, it, yeah. like a lot of people make exactly. money playing video games. I didn't know. I was unaware, and... So it wasn't like a uh, hard choice to say no internet in this house. It was more Very of a... Very easy. That's... I said, eh, no. I also, think... it was a hard... Like, it was a hard, stern no. decision. Like, that is I not think coming it was into my mostly, house. If I, had, if I had to guess, Tom, I think that it was mostly... How much is this costing? No, I don't think so. Electric yeah. Satan, not in this house. Well... I didn't care about that, but yeah, it was probably financial at the time. I was. Uh, what about that one time you woke me up at Bobby Ogden's because I was I wouldn't answer my phone to go to church. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there and I was I was hanging at my buddy's house and we used to all stay in his basement. And I told my mom that we would go through his window sometimes, and I was sleeping in. Totally slept past her call to be like, "Hey, we're here," because I was like, oh, "Okay, what am I gonna you know." I'll just sleep through it, and then she'll just drive off, and I won't have to go to church. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So she goes over, and she's knocking on the goddamn window. Mm -hmm. It's and, like, oh, good Midwestern and, mom. And you know, this stuff, she's just like, wake up! And then we got, we, said. we got around the, you know, I went out the front door all groggy, and she was just like, we're going to be late because of you. <laughs> wow. Real, real abusive tone, huh? That's, mm. a, nice, that's a good mom right there. Yeah. And I, I just there, don't I let like, it ride. Can stop my Starbucks beforehand? And she's like, ooh, okay. Oh really? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> this this push and pull relationship yeah. has led to the monster we know. It's fun. Okay. And again, I say you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. How many times do Thank I say that? Thank you so much. A lot. Really a lot. So uh, you were saying before this started that you're actually thinking of starting your own podcast. I certainly am. You're you're finally figuring out the power of the internet. I'm finding out the power and the financial capacity. You of keep saying the that like. You've started an OnlyFans. Like what? Like you've started an OnlyFans. Yeah. It's where people show their private parts for money. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, it's a big market. That is. You well, are Meat Canyon's mom. You know, I don't know if there would be a lot of revenue in the private parts for me. I, I don't agree. I think you could make a killing. Well, right, thank you, well. Thomas. You know, I think, once again, Mom, I think your head's on straight. I don't think there's a lot of money for you. <laughs> Not only, you know, the obvious appeal of beauty, but you're also Meat Canyon's mum. That's so true. So it's a multi-pronged... Maybe Lady Bits will be shown. I don't know. You, I'm just saying you could... Skies that mortgage money. could be thing of the past. Yeah. I like that. Hmm. I like where your head's at, Thomas. Do you? I do. Hmm. It's a bit... <laughs> it's, a, it's a little invasive, but I like where you're going with it. I just know that it would somehow, some way, 
but that would that would probably destroy my life. You reckon? I think so. I think you're an accepting guy. I think that it'd be, you know, I I could wrap my head around it. I think so. Oof. Oof. I could wrap my head around the idea because I'd be like, whatever, you know. Mm. If if she was able to buy just incredible things, mm-hmm. I wouldn't care. Well, the only problem you. is that at some point it would get thrown in my like a link, Ew. something would slip through. All oh, all the time. Uh, all the time. And that's why I mean is that's where my life would start deteriorating. <laughs> is because I would never be able to escape it. I'm I'm gonna say I agree there. No no cha wants to what see. What would it your there. OnlyFans username be? Hmm. Yeah, how are you drawing in the crowds? Hmm. That's an interesting question, isn't it? I think mommy, I would probably well, go ahead. Mommy Meat Canyons is the it's a big I do like that. Me. Then yeah. I can ride the coattail of my son for a little bit till I, mine goes. Yeah, I mean, that's test. my plan. Is that what happens to coattails? <laughs> is, is that usually how the coattails work? It starts as a coattail, and then you're like. How's that, who's ever excelled after riding coattails? You know, that doesn't. I don't really go. Cool. There's probably, probably a lot. Do. There's a lot. I, I think a lot of people. Uh, Chet Hanks, for one. Well, there I think you go. Was, that was just his son. Also, I don't think he's really done anything. <laughs> well, I think he's still maybe riding not. coattails. Dave Mustaine. There you go. Good Rode one. The <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you mm-hmm. go. Mm-hmm. 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 I, I think it'd be a, a it, Mummy Meat Canyon. It's got the appeal of again. You've got your son's name in the title. Also, Mummy, Mummy Milkers, <laughs> like all that. So it's all adjacent. I think it could draw in like a good crowd. I really do. I've read all the comments and I adore them all. And she I does. Know she that also tells me that she keeps up on the the view tracker. You're damn right, I do. Weekly. Yeah, she's yeah. like sixty eight thousand. Boom. That's that's big. Yeah. That's big yeah. views. Not bad. You're a natural ethot, Missy. I really am. Yeah, mm. Mm. that's beautiful. I'm a calling. Hmm. She mm-hmm. probably did it. Sixty-two mm-hmm. years old and found her calling. Mm-hmm. Didn't take long. <laughs> Being good at sixty-two. Mm-hmm. You, know, you just color your hair. That's all you got to do. You know, there's a lot of people in the comments last time who said that I looked older than you. Mm-hmm. And I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> I love that. And a lot of people said they sh- she should replace Meat Canyon. There was a the lot podcast. of those. Yeah. And a lot that I should start my own podcast. Which you're now talking about doing. I'll be honest, I did not see one of those. I think that's just a (laughs) figment of your imagination. I'll look that bitch up and show you. Please do. I'd love to see a screenshot. Okay. So what would your podcast is going to be about? We were talking about it before, but obviously the viewer hasn't heard. Well, my delightful friend. (laughs) Hello. Um, Probably going to be something like a pissed and pickled. We're thinking about. Pissed and pickled? Uh Uh-huh. Found the OnlyFans name. Pissed and pickled. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Good I'm telling you. People are gonna just <laughs> flock to that shit. Uh, you, hey, you I and your it. friend could do duos. You know, we probably will. Yeah, I mean, Sky- you do, you do love. If you don't know, the pickled is for pickleball. Is it though? It well, is. I well. think at first it might be, and then after around episode two, I think it'll be a lot more pickled. Mm-hmm. Mm. And but, you know, maybe we'll do a you know a cocktail where you can learn to make a gold rush. Or you know, that's a, maybe that'll that's a be in the hour segment. Long podcast. Make drink. <laughs> make yeah. a gold rush. You could go into the I don't know history of the cocktail if such thing exists. What is this podcast? Sure. Where I, I was trying to tell her, I'm like the tone. You need to have a a consistent po- show. If you're sitting there, you're just like pickleball one time, and then a two hour long podcast about <laughs> the history of a gold rush well, or the gold rush. Number one, not going to be two hour. Number two, it's not. I mean. You don't know that. You don't know. I do know. The, the, the conversation could be so good that it goes on for three, maybe even four. Joe Rogan does it all the time. That's, That's true. true. I do have a Joe Rogan vibe when it comes to the podcast. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, that's totally possible. Would you ever shave your head to mimic him for an episode? You're damn right I would. I'd do it. Very committed. It yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll grow back. Will it? I mean, I, I've been thinking about your hair lately. You dye it way too much. When are you just going to let it just go oh the silver fox mm. Probably i feel I'm... like it's in i feel like that look is in right now you know i'm not a fan of that um no i won't do that i feel like what you're doing is just the cheaper version of what charlotte did in sex and the city oh with i the beg face to differ i feel like mallory is on point with my hair it looks fine i'm just saying when are you gonna let it go i would say probably when i'm 80 and I don't think I'll make it that wow. long, so I won't do it. There you go. I'm just going to let that bitch hmm. go blonde. 80, that's a my long... my hair is actually... You know what's kind of weird is... Uh, 
when when old when women get old, mm-hmm. I was thinking about Grandma McCoy when she mm-hmm. when women get a, when old women get a certain age, it's like you can see the the their head mm-hmm. through their hair. It's very thin hair. Mm-hmm. And I already have thin hair, so I'm not do gonna you? roll like that. No, I it do. looks very full. Thanks. Mm. Well, I kind of did a little feather vibe today because you know, I was excited about. The it podcast. is. It's like the. Uh, it's like uh, well, what's Farrah Fawcett? No, no, not Farrah Fawcett. Yes, Ben Stiller's character in Dodgeball. Thank you. <laughs> White gold. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. He has nice hair, <laughs> right? Well, so it's 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 the feather. It's gotta be the feathered cotton. It's the Remember feather. That yeah, yeah. I like it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Are you browsing the internet unprotected? No safety gear. Going in raw. You fool. You madman. You need to protect yourself. NordVPN is easy to use. Connect with one click or enable auto connect for your protection. Any of you guys, any of you guys want to mint some NFTs? Fresh protection users can route their information through two VPN servers. NordVPN encrypts all of your traffic so your internet service provider can't slow down your internet speed. Holiday season deal! Go to nordvpn.com forward slash cream to get a huge discount on a two year plan plus one additional month free. And I got on my race sweater. Yeah, I complimented her checkered he did. shirt today. It's this very is nice. from the buckle. Thank you guys you. won't see it because we're cracking even harder down on the blur this time. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make you skeeved out? I mean, you have to imagine all these people are just like sweaty, greasy, pimply losers out there. And they're just like, Ugh. I like that. Mm. You, re- you truly I? know that the OnlyFans sell. You're gonna tell people next that you love like people who play Minecraft and how much you just sell? Yes. It's a monthly subscription. What would be your monthly rate? Yeah, I'd be curious to know that. You can set the price for how much people want to pay a month. So mm. how are you valuing yourself here? Pretty high, boys. Pretty high. How much? Like if you had a dollar amount, what would it be? What's your dollar amount monthly? Mine for uh-huh. my OnlyFans. If I actually did one, mm-hmm. would, would it be cock, balls, asshole, all that stuff? Taint. Mm. All right. That's up to you, my man. Taint. Well, I'm saying that's probably what people. Because, okay. you know, there's all those, there's people that do the OnlyFans, but then they're just in, like, lingerie. And that's I feel such like people, bullshit. And people get, well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, like, it's, it's like, if you're doing the OnlyFans, you got to commit. Yeah. The old so mine, mine, spread. mine I'll, t- I'll be honest, mine, I'll be honest. We'll do it. 99.99. That's a lot, dude. Belle Delphine was, like, 30. Yeah, but she had definitely had droves of people that she was like, she was really getting every asset. I mean, beautiful business strategist. Oh Wait, God. so are you saying nine ninety nine? No, no, ninety nine, ninety nine. How are you? Yeah, I mean, how are you gonna? I just know that there's a select few people that would be interested in seeing my taint, my balls, my asshole, all that stuff. Mm. I feel like there's a very few people that want to see your taint. I think well, what he's what saying, saying though is, is that, that's what I'm saying though. Capitalize off the few and make more. Right, because there's so few people, mm. but the ones who do want to see if there was it probably droves, want it a lot. If there okay. was droves, right. I'd probably make it twelve I feel bucks. You now. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If yeah. there was, I mean, if it was just, I mean, if I got tons of DMs and stuff, show me that stinky asshole. Yeah. You know, you'd lower the price would. to get. More I would. People I'd make like twelve yeah. bucks. Yeah. I'd make it cheaper than a Netflix subscription. I like it. That's smart. Well. Are you going to have the breadth of catalog that Netflix has? I would like to think that I would. I think that if I actually got comfortable with it, people could see how red and small my dick is and how inflamed my asshole is. I don't I know would if do people want to see that. Oh, I think you're wrong. I think tons of people, I would want to see that. There's been <laughs> plenty of times where someone's like, look at this fucked up dick. And That's I'm like, true. What? He, ha- he has sent me many pictures of, you know, Nicardo Avocado? Yes with his asshole spread his bussy exposed to the world big big asshole sent more asshole. than once he sent that to me so mm. maybe there is an audience there's tons i mean i you know the thing is i don't even actively search for those those get sent to me lucky mm. how <laughs> how uh how much does he make on only fans i have no idea i imagine he probably makes a pretty good penny he shills mm. it all the time mm. or that and cameo well not really the same thing would you ever do cameo no no it does feel like I feel like dirty even thinking yeah. about it. Yeah, there's no audience for me to do cameo. Can you can you imagine like ah I got I got you Tom Hinchliff saying happy birthday. But then you would for do your birthday. But then you do the <laughs> at the end of all of them. Yeah, no. That'd be nice. <laughs> no, don't laugh. <laughs> That'd be good. But, but even start- if you're like the announcer of Halo Three, which is one I looked at recently. Oh, you should. And you're on cameo. It just feels a bit like rock bottom, doesn't it? You no, know, I mean people gotta get theirs. Right, they do, but the way they're doing it, it's it's rock bottom. Also, there's some that are really funny. Like you can tell the washed up ones, like Vince Neil, and he, the mm. ones that are washed up and they charge a shit ton. Those are like the scum. I think the guy that does Master Chief, that's fun. I mean, why would you not want a voice message from 
Master you Chief. would, but he's like lowering his perceived value by even being on cameo. I guess I think there's also merit to being like a service where you get to send direct messages to fans. Well, it's called OnlyFans, Hunter. Hmm? All like I'm saying it? is that I'm going to do stuff where I'm going to start off with bare pictures that's going the other way, and then people are going to really appreciate my creativity on the site. I think we got away from the real drive mm. of uh, this question. You're oh. sending it at ninety nine ninety nine, right? Um, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go sixty nine ninety nine. Let's see. Ah, sixty nine. Why not sixty nine sixty nine? It's um, a meme or thing. People might be more enticed to pay it. Thank you, Tom. I think I will do a sixty nine sixty nine. I like it. Can I be your manager? You damn right. I thought you, you were can. gonna say first purchase, and I was gonna say, why don't you eat I've, it down? I've seen the real thing. I don't need to buy pictures. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I could be a, a, a business manager kind of deal. Uh, a little strategizing with you. Mm. Duly noted. You know? Yes. You're, you're using a cell phone. I'm like, let's get the 8K I cinema like black magic. I that's, like what, it. That's, what, that's what every OnlyFans person needs is a, the 12 bit color. That's the niche yeah. in the market. That's what they're missing. All these right. thoughts are just like, I'm going to take a picture of my pussy. And I'm like, where's the 12 bit? See, these are the things I need to know. Where's the right. 12 bit? Where's the 12 bit? I feel like I'd be I want to see I'd be, every I would, be, I would be too distracted by how good the quality of the photo is. There's, there's an inherent merit of having it feel amateur esque feels wrong it feels dirty True. people like it that's a that's a fair point maybe we should partner up on the managerial you see, aspect you ever see on Pornhub any of those videos that are like it looks like fucking uh, what's his name Christopher Noel Nolan no, Nolan did it yeah yeah it's like you're like what is this why is there no, so much I, production I look for that oh really I want to see <laughs> I want to I want a cinematic experience it just sure. feels like it's ruined mm. no no I disagree 8K it just depends on your perspective as you're going into it I, there's, you you've want? been flooded by amateur stuff, you know. Eventually, yeah. you want to kind of bump it up, yeah. and that includes up the acting. Because the, the problem is when you get those sites like who do the high quality stuff, but mm. the acting's bad. You know, it's like trying to polish a turd. You wanna, yeah. you wanna believe. You wanna be invested. You know. Sure. I'm yeah. still in and out within two minutes, so I don't get to experience much <laughs> of the cinema, but just enough to really appreciate it. Yeah. You know. Right on. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we partner up because uh, Hunter does bring up some good points, and two creative minds is better than one. So I agree. Yeah, I'd be on board with Would that. Would you be on board with that? Yeah. All right. I want to see you thrive, mother. Thank you, son. You're a good. And that's a good, a good son. boy. That is. That is I'm doing this son. because I want good comments for me. I like going through the comments like the ego boost. <laughs> People being like, "He's mm. such a good son." Exactly. I mm -hmm. think you're a bad son enabling your mom to start an OnlyFans. Well, I disagree. Yeah. Well, power, power to my mom. Thank you. That's what yeah. I say. Yeah. When she's found in the trunk of someone's car because she became e-famous. Well, that's going to be your doing because I try to tell her all the time. I say, do not say you're my mom. Don't even look How at can it. I, I, I do you start conversations it. with that? <laughs> Sometimes. No, no. I They're don't. like, what but do you want on your Starbucks know, cup? You're like, me, like, Kenya's okay, mom. Like when we were at that deal the other day. Yesterday? Was it yesterday morning? Oh, we went yeah. to the... Uh, no, it was uh, Christmas Eve. Okay. We went to... See if we can get down there. But we went to... In Texas, in the middle of nowhere, they have the gas station from the... I was starting to tell you about this, but they have the gas station from the 70s Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So it's pretty sweet. It's like an actual set thing. We went over there, and I got this sweet, kind of like ghetto-looking shirt. It was delightful. Really they it. had the van... Yeah, it they was awesome. It, it was really cool. If you appreciate the movie, it's it's really cool. Did he but, get recognized? As usual, the dude behind the counter was like, and I know you from somewhere. I, it, it killed me not to say anything because I had the meat <laughs> cane shirt on. I was like, <laughs> but I didn't say anything, but I wanted to be like, that's my side. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't. But Break when he's not around, I do every damn time. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I know. Maybe somebody will take me off and kill me or whatever. I mean, it's a chance. I've had a good life. I have I people care. that whenever she'll like people's comments on Twitter and stuff, and her well, just username is just like whatever. Well, and, they, and, then, and then you well. screenshot. Well, well, we can bleep it or whatever. All right. But we, but, but the they, they they will screenshot it and send it to me. Oh. And be like, lol, I'm gonna find your mom. I get call. I get messages oh. like that. I was unaware of that. I tell you all the time. I forgot. Because sometimes <laughs> people are like, oh, ta ta ta, and I'm like, oh, team, I like that. <laughs> Well, there you go. You're building your audience. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Apparently. Good Lord. Hey, you have a boy. Okay. Raise him up and then they're going to recognize him. You're going to say something. As a father, 
You're going to say something. You're is it is it kind of weird that your son is basically famous? I freaking love it. It's not. We're, you get like, recognized we're, everywhere we're, we go. We're overusing this. Why? Overused. It's not. Sorry. I I have some notoriety, but I I will not say that I am like famous. Where's the bar? Where's the point where you can say like, yeah, I'm kind of famous? I would. Whenever it happens, I would be honest about it and be like, yes, I do. How do we know you have like a clear perspective on this? I think that I have a perfect perspective on. I this. know you. Think I, that. If you look at that and you look at other like e celebrities and you look at all of their engagement and social medias and stuff like that, I am not anywhere near close to them. That's fine, but there's there's degrees of fame. That's true. Well, yeah, but no one's not everyone's it's, Leonardo. It's not like DiCaprio. Everybody, I mean, there's some people, and this is the people that I'm in. It's like uh, Jeffrey Combs is the guy from Reanimator. I don't even he's know a, who the hell that is. Yeah, well, exactly. That? See, there you go. But to me, it would be he's a B. He's been in all of Stuart Gordon's films, Reanimator, all that kind of stuff. And I'd be like, this is awesome. I love you. But not everybody. I mean, I, there's tons of people would be like, I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't think anyone would recognize right. him in public. How dare you? Mm-hmm. I think people recognize you. That you are very easy to recognize. To be fair, yeah. Well, I'm cutting my hair. I'm, I'm no, no, he won't. I am. I am. No, no, I actually am. Are you gonna That'd get rid of the mullet? Stupid. I think so. Is it? I made him cut his hair when he was little. I'm like, you keep that shit short. Whoosh, buzz and that's why that you went mullet to kind of. In fact, yeah. Thumb no, your I wanted to just. I mean, there was a time. Well, whenever I was 13, this it's kind of carried into today. Today, but like, I just like didn't give a shit, and I just was like, I don't want to cut my hair. And I just wanted to see how, and it went to a fro, and I thought that was fine. And I tried doing some designy shit when I was in college and making it look nice. And then now it's just like instead of having it go to a fro, because I don't, I mean, I like longer hair. It feels better when I'm listening to music and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I decided to try a mullet, and I, I feel like it was fine. But I think I feel it's, like time, it's, the it's, mullet it's, looks it's good time for a new chapter. Are you David Bowieing out of this? You're going to become a bit of a Ziggy Stardust. I would. That's that's a beautiful transition. That's that seems like a very that's a positive evolution in this. Um, well, he. I, I, thought, I thought you were going to go right. to like Metallic when they cut their hair, and that would probably. Have I would never do that for your oh, ego. James Hetfield Thank looks you. fabulous with short hair. Well, see, there you go. So what? What's the new do? Because like this is iconic. I was probably just honestly going to buzz cut it. He looks good with short hair. You're going to buzz cut. I think so. How My face is very fat though, but I was going to use that as. But you have more the beard merit to lose weight. Trimming the beard. My, is that's, that's gonna that's gonna do it. That's gonna make you stick no. to a workout regime. I'm not saying that will. I'm just saying that it's gonna add, it's gonna be another thing added okay, to the list. Why so you guys you just, are bantering? I'm just gonna go. To the yeah, you go ahead. Sorry, I'm just arguing with Hunter about this. Okay. You're gonna. She has a small bladder. Or make she yourself all the time. Ever since I was young, it's ridiculous. Which is ironic because the orifice it comes out of big. Huge. So it just trickles out very like slowly. Hello, it drips hello, like hello. a stalactite in a cave. Really? It, it really bleak, does. Bleak. Looks like uh, there's a cave in Missouri. I have to get. She'll know what it is. What the fuck is that? Cave? It looks like the Sarlacc pit. I'm gonna. I don't know what that is, but that it's the monster sounds... that swallowed Boba Fett. Oh, there you go. See, if Trevor was here, he would be cramming his pants. Yeah. I just. I'm not. A, I just don't like Star Wars. I mean, Me either. I just I'm don't fucking dig. It. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. Me either. So um. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't. So you're just gonna make yourself more depressed, and uh, you think not, so? You're like by, cu- by cutting my hair. Well, if your if your reason is a bit to be like to highlight that I feel overweight. Well, it's not necessarily that. I'm just saying it's an added leverage of being like, I don't know. It's it's like a it's like a phoenix type thing, reborn. You know, new look, whatever. It's All change. right, it's All direct right. change. Fair enough. What is that? What is that? Uh, those caves that you can explore in Missouri. You know uh, what I mean? They Merrimack take... Taverns? Uh, I feel like it's... Something... Taverns. <laughs> it's not a tavern. Cavern. Merrimack. Merrimack. That sounds... Merrimack something. Something like that. I don't know. We were it describing... Is. It's um Missy Caverns. Because I was like, it's very ironic that you're... You pee so much. But uh, was that the deal? I can't remember the joke. I don't even know. I don't know. Joke. I got so hung up on because there was a there was an ad on TV all the time for it, and you yeah, would take. I feel the, like it's Merrimack Caverns. I think that's probably right. That yeah. sounds familiar. Yeah, we never we went. Down, I always wanted to. Like a red Jeep. I was too afraid. I wouldn't have gone. They're like the stalactites and all that kind yeah, of. Your stuff your anymore. ma was telling me that when you were a kid, you were a massive fucking pussy. I am still am. I think I still am. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I would so? imagine. Yeah. I remember this all one right. time she was sitting there. We went to uh, this place in Kansas City called Worlds of Fun. And they have like a haunted house then. Oh, the during, haunted, yeah. It's like the haunt is what they call okay, it. Okay, yeah. You were a little bit of a pussy then. I was. I was horrified. And I sat there and... 
You were he was like I mean I was on la- I was latching onto her fucking back for dear life. <laughs> It was funny though because after a while I feel like she was like she stopped walking and she was like bending her knee in pain because I was like <laughs> grabbing also tight. I'm like I want to get out of here. Like, and he was like, yeah, he was, he was a chicken man. He didn't yeah. like that chicken shit, yellow belly out here. It's yeah. very true. And he was true. struck by lightning. <laughs> that is true as well. You know, we can no, get into all true. this, and that's fine with me. I was struck by lightning as a child, and he I was, he certainly wasn't. I think that it was. He wasn't. It's definitely my mother's fault that I was allowed out in that storm. Well, he wasn't struck by lightning. Again, a little bit of a pussy during that storm. <laughs> all right, dude. Easy. So what happened? Let's uh, clue the listener well, in. I was dog, going to get dog my dog. Ran off. Let me tell this story. I was. You tell my it. dog ran off. Yeah. And I went to go get him during this horrible lightning storm. Mm-hmm. And I had a bunch of metal in my pockets because I was helping my dad work. <laughs> a, bunch of, a bunch of a bunch of metal stuff. I was just I was a, I was a, what do you mean about what metal hard, did you have in your pocket? Screws, nails, Oof. all sorts God. of stuff. Because I was a hard You're a working lightning kid. magnet. I was. I literally <laughs> conductor. Yeah. And I sat there and I I got my dog and turned around. All of a sudden, zap! Right there. That was crazy. I freaked out. Yeah. I blacked out for a little bit. I passed out on the ground. You could see, I mean, like, my shirt was burnt a little bit. She's laughing because she feels so guilty. Because he's full of shit. I was out on the back deck, and I see him running as fast as he can with the fear of God in his eyes. He's like, I just messed up my lightning. And he's running, and he didn't. He was just scared. We weren't, God, his dad and I were just laughing our ass off. We're like, God, get your ass in here. No burn marks on the tee? No, there was nothing. There was a couple. He was scared. <laughs> I'm not saying it was the most powerful piece of lightning. I was just he was like reporting 17. that. No. He, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was like eight. <laughs> Hobbling over the <laughs> hill. <laughs> hey, this guy struck my lightning. <laughs> you had your dog in your arms still? No, we didn't even find him. No, I did. He followed me. Oh, he did? Yeah. No, oh, I thought he was. You talking about Jack, right? The lab? That was Jack. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. How did the dog escape this massive oh, bolt? The, 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 well... I think that I just was so... I was such a large child. You tanked I think the, the lightning. You weren't that large then. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu vibes, bro. Episode one. Okay. Mm-hmm. We don't need to go into all that, but... Nah. Yep. So you're saying, uh, you're saying you were a very large child, and you're saying he wasn't. At that time, I, mean, I wasn't he wasn't that big. That big. Nah. Okay. Where, where did the... Because I don't know if that... Is that video out yet? Uh, I it will be when this is released. All right, we got to talk about this because it's very funny and very mean. Mm. Hunter literally. I don't know if it's not mean. Let's not. I don't. All right, let's just lay out, and the the viewer can decide if it's mean. Hunter decided to hire trained actors and actresses Mm. who drove five hours each to come to this house so he could film recreate a apparently traumatizing incident in powerful, his childhood where powerful message you wanted him to eat his dinner which you slaved over my mother is a delightful n- cook notor- thank you like notoriously thank bad you. cook guess what i make a killer nacho stop how's it. your fruit salad see it is used for f- it, it's like it's it's like a decorative piece. No one even touches it. And then okay, if we do, I haven't it's done used the for fruit f- salad anymore. That okay, that went awry. I'll give you that. My lasagna, on point. Stop it. Was it? So because- Hunter bought actresses and actors to the house and yes. recreated an incident where Missy asked him to eat his lasagna that he wouldn't eat. Right. right. And after producing this product of cinema, mm. he then makes her fly eight hours to texas mm. only to shove it in her face and make her watch it and film her reaction thank you thomas that did happen i don't know if i think shove is too aggressive i think that i, I feel like shove was is uh, accurate mm-hmm. i don't think so i i think that shove is a bit too aggressive i think that mm-hmm. i gently placed it in front and i said this is what you made me do this is who you are <laughs> and i'm gonna watch your reaction. i have no idea what was going on off the plane you know i'm like okay and he's like tink with the deal, I'm like, wow. Those are sound effects. She does a lot of sound effects. Ka-ting. I've noticed that as yeah. you've gotten older, it's a lot of sound effects. I like sound it's effects. It's fun. Adds color. It is fun. Yeah. It, I'm just saying, it's just, I, it came People out nowhere. People actually my dad, to me My dad gets more effects. southern. Yeah. And, and then my mom, mom becomes a, a walking comic strip. That's just a fun More delightful. I like more that. Southern, You're a walking delightful. comic strip. You're like a walking no. Archie comic. <laughs> Ar- no, not Archie. You're old like that, Archie. Hmm. <laughs> 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 so how did 
how did you feel about this? Because he got, he hired like a uh, how old was the actress? I don't know. She Ninety. Was, she was about sixty-seven. Six. Uh, so an almost yeah. seventy-year-old actress. Me as an early thirty-year-old. Yeah, as a thirty-year-old. Looked said, identical. I don't mind, and like I identical to what she. First looked of like, all, I, I never wore red lipstick. That's not what I remember. No, I didn't. All those mm. nights of you smoking Camel Crush cigarettes and yeah, can we get a fact out? check? Did you bring home lots of new fathers for Hunter to meet? Mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like I was married, so there were no fathers brought home. I feel like your dad would have frowned on that. And plus, this was post divorce. I only do chapstick. Oh, was it in the video? Yes. Oh, okay. There might have been a few dads floating around. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no <laughs> and and Daddy? from your perspective, like, do you remember this lasagna thing? I do a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay. So it was like a just memory because, for both of you. I just yeah, want to also bit. put out there it for, wasn't the, cooking, like for that. the cooking rebuttal as well. Oh. You know what I used to remember dad always doing? What? Is eating raw celery. That's what he, like, it's, He's a freak. He, dur- during the dinner thing, he'd eat a little bit of the dinner. And then he would eat raw celery instead of the dinner. If you like celery, you're a fucking I don't idiot. think that he really did. I think it was just, this is no nutrients for the body. Okay. That's so, not so, true. So what happened, like from your perspective, what happened? From my perspective, I made a fabulous meal. Yep. And he was like, mm, I just want a warmed up tortilla. And I'm like, mm, no, Classic. we're going to actually Easy. eat. and or macaroni and hot dogs. Okay, guess what? How many times can you have that generic bullshit? Every day. I just want, do you want a bream burrito? No, I just want a tortilla. Okay. Just like the guess what? tortilla. You're going to eat this freaking meal I made, and you're going to sit your ass there. Tell you do. See? Aggressive. Yeah. And so he was like, mm. Yeah. So he didn't eat it. And then. What's the trouble with heating up a, uh, what's, what's the problem with heating up a tortilla? Just the tortilla. Just like a, just the wrap. Just a plain tortilla. Just the freaking tortilla. Not, not many vitamins, nutrients. I mean, what the hell? I was it's big into fuck. Aladdin at the time, and they made that <laughs> loaf of bread look very good. And the only thing I had comparable to it was a tortilla. I can show you the world. <laughs> well, the, the damaging effects of Disney Renaissance cartoons aside, mm. I feel like a lasagna is probably, I mean, it's still just pasta and fucking tomato sauce at the end of the day. So It's hamburger. Cheese. When you're young, you your I think that it's whenever true. you're when you're young and whenever you're a new parent and stuff like that, I think it's just about getting through the day. I don't think it's really about, especially working class people, getting through the day. You don't have all so the time. So you can see your mom's perspective on stuff. Oh, I do. But yeah. do I think her methods were right? No. Well, they you, right. you seem to... The fact to create a memory for both of you, I think, is the, the interesting part here. Mm. Because the way you just portrayed it, you're like... I said eat it and he said no. That doesn't seem very memorable. You know? That doesn't seem like it's going to stick in your mind for what? 20 years? I didn't give a damn, really. I was like, I mean, eat it or not. Apparently, it traumatized the boy. But how did it... We were probably how was it such an event that it created a memory for you? Because I really didn't do that. I really didn't make him sit there. Because my, my parents were that. You definitely did. I didn't all the time. No. Well, this was the one when it was memorable. Oh, okay. So, it only sticks out because you had no other boundaries for your child. Yeah. I had a lot of boundaries for my child. So it doesn't sound like there were many. I just feel like I was a well-rounded kid. He was. What I mean, were your he boundaries? Just was. Whenever I told, because when I told him to do something, I would just do it. He would just freaking do it. He wouldn't be like he. I, I mean, he might not like it. He might say shit behind my back, but I don't give a damn. He never. He just did it. You know what I do, Tom? I still carry this today. <laughs> Whenever something bothers me, rubs me the wrong way, I'll, do, I'll I'll take about ten minutes to myself. I'll come back and I'll yeah, be true. a little more rational. I've done that ever since I was a child. He'd go in his room. And I'd come in there and be like, oh, what's wrong? And he'd be like, I just need a little time. I'd be like, okay. Tink. Well, that's very mature of you. And he went, yeah, it was. Even as a little guy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And do you put that down to your parenting technique? You bet I do. Mm-hmm. You're welcome again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You really give yourself a lot of praise, you know? That? I mean, I do. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. Well, I She's guess a queen. Biggest big I mean, humble. who's going to? Me. <laughs> yeah. Hey. You better love yourself. Or you're fucked. <laughs> I love that. That's a very, that's it's a very true. good message to put out there. Thank mm. you. you know? mm-hmm. Yeah, for mm. all you youngsters out there, inspiring a lot of young women right now. I agree, and men. Well, young men, you know. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that smile. That's a winning <laughs> smile. Thank you. <laughs> Blur it. Blur that shit. <laughs> Make sure it's blurred out. I don't want to see it. <laughs> so when does that video go live? Like in about an hour. Ooh, God, I'm excited. excited. Me too. Yeah. I can't freaking wait. Did you think it was funny? I did. You weren't deeply hurt? Nah. 
No. You got to take that shit with a grain of salt with him. You never know what the hell you're going to get. She laughed the whole time. I was like, is that me? Mm. No, she even asked that. She said, that's me. And so you'll, I feel, how did you get the that The actress footage? portrayed it so clearly that yeah. it was almost like looking into a time portal, like yes. a mirror. I was like, <sighs> how did you do this? She was son? doing this at the screen, trying to see if it would mimic back at her. <laughs> it didn't. I was like, wow. Well done. Yeah. So the your mom is also in town, your grandma. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What did sister. she think of it? Has she seen it? Yeah. Haley and uh, grandma watched it. My mother loves it. Yeah, they both rely on their asses off. There's a few. Uh, there's a few ones that are just for us, you know. Like, there's, <laughs> like there's, a, there's a Carrie. There's a Carrie Bradshaw line that I feel like not everybody would get yeah. the impact of that or the fancy line. Yeah, or even fancy. McIntyre. I mean, I had karaoke fancy one time. So, and yeah. we used to sing those. Oh, ah, little Easter egg. We're, we're singers. Yeah. we sing on the. We like to car <clears throat> sing. Yeah, I bet. We do that a lot. Do you have the voice of an angel? You bet I do. No. Can we get a little sample? No, you have to wait for that. <laughs> wait to my podcast. Ah, I see. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what. I'm, that's thinking, what, uh, I'm thinking about Pickles opening the podcast about. with a different song every time. What's your favorite song? How do you do that with copyrights? Anyway, um, what'd you say? <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite song? <laughs> right now, my favorite song. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I have a favorite. I have so many I think good you ones. Do. I think we I know what it know. is. Right I definitely now, I like the. I don't know how. I'm, if I say it right, Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Good. On my, I share a Spotify with my mom, and he does. Uh, I got they sh- they share the analytics. I think I shared this po- po- uh, photo. Party B. Literally, uh, in my most streamed songs last year, and most streamed artist was WAP Cardi B. I uh, do like amongst that one. all these other metal <laughs> artists. There's WAP. You Cardi listen B. to an ungodly amount of music too. So yeah, for, a lot, and the same I'm, bands I'm on you. repeat, like Metallica, a lot. So for for WAP. Wow, to, to push to, through that. Yeah, to push through to fourth place on top five of the year. That's a lot. That's a lot of you know wow, pussy, Missy. Yeah, You're what's welcome. that? You're yeah, I had to learn the words because I karaoke did. And I will say the <laughs> lady at the me. Mockingbird Lounge said, no one's done it better. Boom. Damn. She mm. did. High she praise. said those words. I know. I was like, thank you. It feels oddly offensive to me to see my mother sing that song. That was probably gross. And I'm sorry. Well, for your age, it's incredibly upsetting. For who you are as a person, it's upsetting. I think culturally, I don't think you should be singing it. <laughs> that makes me want to sing it right now. No, yeah. not now. Don't let, him, don't let him keep you down, Missy. Yeah. Oh, I don't, won't. don't listen to this cultural bullshit. I won't. I don't agree. Yeah, me either. Yeah. I don't agree. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's easy down. Two I arms, two arms. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what Don's doing. Everything about the host. Don's not here. He's out of town with family. I do miss seeing Don. You and Don had a little thing. Uh oh, what? For a while, huh? Did we? I don't know. I've heard whispers, rumors. Oh, well. He's a tall, dark, it. and handsome. You know? He is. I can and his see voice the appeal. Is delightful. You, that's that's a big turn on. Both your voices are delightful. Yeah. I've got, I've got like the accent thing, but I think if you. If you were raised in my environment, England, I don't think you'd think my voice was any special. No, I but Don, I Don is, you know, he's got something going on. Mm-hmm. If it, we talked about it on one podca- podcast where he has like the uh, rhythmic frequency that just uh, stimulates women. I don't know what it is. Mm. It's true. It's some sort of like we, magnetic women vibrations. Women like the deep voice. They do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. He so- he talks so soft that it makes you listen. Mm-hmm. I think that's what it is. And he's chill. He's very very easy uh, peasy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's very he's very concerned lately. I mean, I wish he was here to rebuke this, but he's very concerned lately that uh, he. Uh, like his mind is slipping because of all the all nighters. Yeah. Or he was saying that a little bit last on one of the podcasts. Yeah. His, I think he's thinking that his mind is slipping. Well, it might be. Whose is it? I feel my mind slipping, slipping sometimes. Amen. I am surrounded by people who say their minds are slipping. It's quite terrifying. I think that's probably because I think that we're trying to tell you. I think it's you're probably finding out one day you'll push through into the real world and find out that we're saying your mind is slipping. Like, like, <laughs> All like, I hear you're, is yeah, you're, you're like, my mind is slipping. You're like, you need to get that checked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stable as a rock. I will say I am for people to know as well if I can give myself a little bit of a uh, talking room here is that uh, going on break. 
Are you, uh, I, we were talking about this yesterday. I don't fucking believe you for a second. It, I'm going on break. Uh huh. Yeah. Three days? Going on, nope. Going I, on break I, for four I'll weeks. I'll give it five days. Four five weeks. Days. And then he'll be four like, weeks. I can't take it. Yeah. Four weeks, maybe longer. I don't I've been there's thinking, no way I've, in I've, hell. I've been, I've been thinking about no it. There's no way in hell he'll last I really four have. weeks. I have some no cartoon ideas with some people that I'm stoked on. But other than that, like, I've been trying to think about what I want the channel to be now and shit. And like, well, just to clarify, too, when you say you're going on break, you're still doing regular uploads on your second channel. On break from me, Kenny. Including cartoons. So when you say you're going on break, you just mean you're, like, shifting your focus to a different product. He won't take a four-week break. Me, Kenyon, is an all-encompassing thing. It's, like, three jobs in one. I, on I, I know. I believe it. So the Pop Meat channel is still a place where I have way more help. I do that kind of stuff. And it's uh, also just a way I, mean, I have to pay my bills. So there has to be something coming in and being consistent so there's that but yep. me can I, I i need i need to figure out what i want that to be because it's something special what the fuck are you smirking at and just shaking your head for it <laughs> gotta find a way to <laughs> pay those bills yeah i mean fuck you gotta be consistent you can't just let all your revenue fizzle out especially on youtube man you don't upload this stuff and that motherfucker tanks. hey you're right that's it's right. true but let's not lie to ourselves and call shit. it a break that's all i'm yep. saying I'm saying it is a break. To me, it is a substantial break from that channel. Right. Mm -hmm. And to you're done with to, Monster Lab, to, too. To so. not, exactly. Done with Monster Lab. I want to come back. I, I'm finding myself in this spot where I don't feel like I'm, like, challenging myself enough. I don't think that, like, I'm... I don't, I don't think I'm, like, making things that I know where I'm like, man, I'm excited to show people this. The dream cartoon I put out today is fun. It feels, like, a little bit different and a little bit, you know, it feels cool. But I, I don't know. I feel like I, I, do I don't like I don't I don't need one. to that like great. I don't need to completely change what I'm doing, but I just feel like I wanna surprise myself along with my audience and hopefully something to, you know. Well you're you're an audience member. What mm -hmm. do you think about this? She's biased though. Ever since I've done anything, she's always just been like That is so great. Well, Was she is. wrong? Oh my Did God, you not predict the meteoric so rise of your son? I always knew. Always I d I didn't think it would be so quickly, but yeah. There you go. Very creative, very... The thing is, it's driven. <clears throat> it doesn't just lay low. Very driven. I can't sit Always here is. and have this praise in front of me. You're a piece I, of shit. Thank you. That's you're better. I, it, it's, you it's, suck, it's, and you're not I, very It's driven. like why I can't watch like reaction videos or any of that kind of stuff either. It's weird. I don't like being in the same room as it, you know? No. Every maybe time, if, if, maybe it, if I was whenever getting... Whenever even he started out, and I'd be like, oh, let's watch this on my TV. He'd be like, I'm not watching it. He would never watch his self. Mm. So I just wait till he's gone. It's like masturbating him. in front of a mirror. It's odd. It's really nothing like. It's, I would say. I bet a lot of people would say that's a good analogy. That's a dumb analogy, and that's no. All right. It's not like. Why is it dumb? Not that I disagree. I'm just curious. No, your I'm perspective. just saying. It's it has it's absolutely nothing to do like spanking it in front of a mirror. Nothing. I think that if you had to watch yourself during these times. And that, especially here's another thing. People say these kind of things, and I love. I mean, I love when people say that they like my stuff. Love it. And yeah. They say, but like when people say, like, I mean, and this is this is other people, not me. When they mm. say like, oh, you're a genius, or this or that, you become desensitized to it because one, I don't believe that. Right. And then it's one of those things where I'm like, I, you see all the faults in your own stuff. So I'm mm -hmm. like, I mean, I appreciate that, but you're retarded. Yeah. Is what I want to say. Yeah. So you see these things, you do all this kind of stuff, and I love when people have a good time watching it. But like, I it's it's too much. I think also, I think if you kept surrounding yourself with that stuff and you kept watching it, it would like fuck with your mentality. Mm -hmm. I think that you would get like a god complex or something. Mm -hmm. If it makes you feel any better, I think you're retarded. Oh, I agree. <laughs> I will lasso you back to earth every day. Well, I think I mean I, I'm glad. That's why I like to come here because I use words incorrectly. I am really dumb. Like I'm a dumb person. You're not that dumb. I'm very dumb. A I mean, I, bit, how many much. how many times? I mean, like I have used probably a dictionary worth w worth of words <laughs> incorrectly. Incorrectly. I, I mean, don't like, think all that. The time. I don't think well, that makes we'll you dumb. Say that's dumb. your dad. Hmm. We'll say that's your dad's fault. It, you My know. <laughs> listen, you're a seed, right? Yeah. You're a seed. You have all the potential written into your genetic code, okay? You get planted in some kind of dusty soil. No mm. offense, Missy. You're fine. You know, dusty, you might, dirty. Am I, you wait, might whoa, not... Whoa, 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 whoa. You might Am not reach the yeah. full potential of, of the genetic code that was written, you know? So I don't think you're stupid. I think you just... The environment you were raised in... I think he took the environment he's raised in and <sighs> made it sore. Like, I, I hey, like I, a plant growing I in a concrete crack. It can happen. I think I could have learned more... But I think I made my teachers laugh 
and yeah. they gave me false grades. And I think that did, they, did your teachers polish you because you read the oh, law? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I remember I told literally I had all I we uh, believe this name, but I had my algebra teacher. It's a great name. It's a, he's a fantastic. <laughs> he's a great name. He's a I failed algebra, <laughs> and I literally told. <laughs> I said I'm going to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing. I said, can I have a C? And he said, you betcha. He was a basketball <laughs> coach. He didn't you care. You went in there a few times early. I was like, you need to get in there early that math class. You so, like well, there you go. Week. I mean, like, and is that... he's like, okay. Is that an indication that Hunter's dumb, or is it though, that he Carney, wasn't... It's Carney school system. Not, uh, good for math. I probably... The Carney school system has shown Remember the Titans so many times that I could, <laughs> I could probably... <laughs> I could word for word that bitch from beginning to end. Yeah. So I think you can give yourself a bit of a pass, you know? Yeah. Environment played a factor for here. Sure. Way to go, mom. I mean, do you need math, really? Yeah. We have calculators <laughs> that's, 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 and that's what, that's, for that. That's what, my, that's what my, you know, justification was for it. When am I ever going to use this? Right. Have you? Have you ever used math? There's a couple times where I really, I mean, like even, you know, I do, I see people at, at dinner tables doing tips in the calculators. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no idea what they're doing. It's 20%. Well, I'm telling you, I, I was trying to get, I was trying to literally divide half a number yeah, you're and dumb. I kept multiplying it. And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I was like, oh, wait, I forgot. I need to yeah. multiply it How by 0.5 and then give me the half or whatever. Right. Mm-hmm. Why so, not just divide it? I, d- I did. Look, watch this. I'm telling you, I just did this the other day. It's, I mean, it's embarrassing. So it's like 100 divided by 0.5. Why are you dividing? Well, why, why would you, you divide, divide by 0.5? That's what I'm saying, though. It's point yeah. minus 5. You're, you're a so, little right, you were trying that, to, you yeah. were combining two different methods. Okay, well, that's yeah. for a reason. See, then you when I did times, it. times 0.5, then I got my answer. Or divide yeah. by 2. Well, you know, that's a, a very Advanced. generous way to go about it. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I'm telling, I mean, literally, I'm a dumb, a, I'm a dumb, sure. dumb person. Very dumb. About a lot of things. I, I was bad at math, too. You know, and I'm maybe I was bad. I was bad just about life, everything. So. I don't even think I know how to properly write a sentence, like use commas. That's I didn't. Le- I didn't learn how to use a commas and disturbing. stuff like that. Don told me how to use commas. Le- I had to. I it's had to. Pause. Had to have means, a, a, it's a pause. After school, throw a comma. In. Tink. What if you talk funny? How do you know when to pause? Well, then you're fucked. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Well, people kept saying because I ramble, so I don't have no that that you reference. Ramble. I ramble all the time. Hmm. There's no periods or anything in my sentences. I just, I go, I explode out and then I'm done. And I'm like, mm-hmm. right. And people are like, I have no idea what you mm-hmm. just said. Yeah. So when people are like, oh, comma, af- you know, before, because or whatever, because in a sentence structure, it's like yada, 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 because blah, 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 blah. I was like, what? I don't understand. But now I just, I just think every time there's a because in a sentence, I'm supposed to put a comma in front of it. So I probably write shit wrong all the yeah. time. You do. I'm not a smart man, <laughs> but I did okay on my ACT. I'm happy you did. That. I think I got like a 23. All right, Ooh, that. smarty pants. <laughs> What's an ACT? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, smarty pants. I, ha- I had someone in my school who got a, like, a, I think literally a 14, which is like disturbing. Ooh, we won't say well, that uh, name. Uh, I won't say his name. But the, uh, That's sad. the ACT is like, I don't think they, you said that they don't even use that anymore for they're not, colleges. They're, yeah. It's like an SAT or like those like kind of. College. Just it's a standardized like, test kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. For okay. college submissions and stuff. Like some colleges it. you have dumb. to have a certain ACT score to go to them or whatever. Were you, uh, were you a high performer in school? You know, I really was. Hmm? No. Uh-uh. She was a crazy bitch in were school. You a bit, were that, you that, wild? Was, was it like Greece? No, not. <laughs> it it, it, it might have fucking been that around the same time frame. She sat there and she like, someone's like. Oh, Miss, you have cankles, which I would have laughed at. And then she put like <laughs> sand in their gas tank. Doesn't that destroy the it engine? It literally ruins the engine. That's why I did it. How much was that car worth? She started fist fights all the time. She was a crazy bitch, I'm telling you. I, I did do a little bit of that back in the day, but not anymore. So someone says you have cankles and you destroyed their car. She and then she would say, yeah, and then, and then she would make fun so. of fat people behind their back. So you're like, what is this? <laughs> What is this code that you're living by? And I tell you what it is, it's, it's just crazy bitch syndrome is what it is. I love that. All these people, all these old scarecrow she hangs around now. Your mother was so crazy in high school. And she's like, ooh, well, I don't know about all that. She once punched a girl in the face because she looked at her weird. That's not true. No, just no. sand in the gas tank. I did do that. And her name was Rhonda, and she was yeah. a cheerleader. So already, my favorite, she was, my she favorite, was a dick. Sto- my favorite story of yours though from school. Obviously, think about you know nineteen fifties winter. <laughs> and she's sitting there, and she, and she was in grade school or whatever. 
and she walked home. She was like oh, left yeah. school. Walked like, home. They made, made me ma- sit outside on the step. It was snowing. So oh, she sat outside on the step. Fuck, w- just walked home. Be put in jail. That back w- then it was like that's fine. Walked home, made herself a glass of milk or a glass of chocolate milk, whatever. And then her principal calls the, the house, and then like a fucking dumbass, she's like, "Hello," and they're like, "Are you? Why are you home?" She's like, "Sorry," and she walks. <laughs> and then I got swatted. Yeah, oh, and they spe- they had the paddle. Oh, they they beat you for it. You did get swatted back. It was in the a different day. time as before the bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, so yeah. it was, it was <laughs> yeah, a different yeah, time. We got our ass beat at school. It's fine. They should still do that. I should wax some kids. She has you know? been. I'll tell you one thing though. One thing that's cool is that a lot of cool concerts. Yeah. Van Halen, Panama tour. David Lee Roth, 1984 was a good Swinging one. Swinging around the audience. I'm yeah. still kind of uh, fixated on what other antics you got up to at school. A lot of antics. Just a lot of white trash, very like Go on. antics like that. Educate me in your culture. My father taught me you don't come home and gripe about it. If somebody is messing with you, you hit them. You, <laughs> Give, you sock them in the fucking face. My yeah. mom looked you do like, that a few times? Yes. My mom looks like, a, like an Austrian boy. <laughs> For the, majority, for the majority of her life, very short I'd hair. I like to see that. She was not the true. only. She was the only woman on like all these male sports teams. I was the first girl to play baseball, hardball. Well, my father was a coach, and he wanted a boy. So I he made you hair. into one. I, no one knew I was a girl for prior till I was. <laughs> Some gay team. man discovered that very late in the game. Yeah. Oh, Missy. He was like, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Where's your cock? Wait a minute. Where'd that go? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, um, was that the worst thing you did? Throw put. Sand in someone's car. No. What's the worst you did? God. Mm. It's nah. probably been long enough. Statch, it's, what's, mm. what's the statutory of rights or whatever? Of, sometimes, I've done a lot of horrible things. Sometimes you don't have to relive old like, memories. Yeah. I kind of want to, you know? I feel like the gas, the sand on the gas is, you know. It's pretty That's bad. irreparable yeah. damage. It's pretty pretty fucked. And I did. I never felt, I still don't to this day. I don't. What did she do to you again? Oh, cool. So she you had just tangles. a dick. Well, that's one thing, but she was just an asshole. Yeah. Relentless, was it? Yeah. See, these are the times, though, when in reflection where, as an older person, you can be like, you know, <sighs> they're a dick, but, I mean, it's whatever. People are going through shit at times. She's never, ever been, like, felt bad for her. Yeah. Like, there, there, there's been some one. horrible things. I mean, there is a story here that I could say. Mm-hmm. Please where, do. Where I don't want to, I want to bleep the name. Or I'll say the name, but bleep the name. There was a girl named, and this might not even be true. This is just my memory of how she was a bitch. I just I remember people used to always be like, "Oh, she's a bitch," and I was like, "Yeah, she's a bitch, whatever." And then in high school, or it wasn't even high school; it might have been a little younger than that. But the people she got, what well, she was a bull rider, and she got her fucking spine stomped. She was paraplegic. Oh goddamn! God and kid logic, because kids are horrible. Mm-hmm. They were like, "Oh, that bitch deserved it." Oh, that's harsh. You know that kind of stuff. That's too much. And then now I look back and I'm like, "What a disgusting thought to have as a child." Yes. But you don't have that about something. Which, to be fair, the bull snapping thing Rhonda's is way not worse. Paraplegic. Now, right. if Rhonda became paraplegic because of you're some, telling me that if, of you went, sand you put if you went car, if you went to their 50 year car you know graduation anniversary next year mm-hmm. and they sat there and they were like. <laughs> And Rhonda rolled in in a wheelchair. You wouldn't smile. You would definitely <laughs> smile. And she was like, "Hey, hey, Missy, <laughs> old, number like one. way, way out of time wheelchair." Hey, I'll say number one. She's like, "I live in a tower by the sea. Me. That's why my thing is so squeaky." And I would probably say, "Can I wheel you somewhere, Rhonda?" <laughs> you wheel her outside. Down some and stairs. I'd wheel her outside and tumble her and be like, <laughs> "Fuck you, bitch!" No, I wouldn't. I'd put be like, sand oh, in her Rhonda. wheels. That's too bad. Mm. Yeah, put sand in her wheel. I sit on her lap and I'm oh, like, "Oh, that's no. gone like, up. It won't work like that anymore, Missy." <laughs> you go over to her gas tank. There's no. She's like, "It's an electric vehicle, bitch." <laughs> I just pour sand on top of her wheelchair. Yeah, I ah! would not just bury her in sand. She dies. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> just kidding. No, I wouldn't. I'd be like, "Rhonda, you're a delight," and I'm sorry. You still, you still to this day seems to be somewhat of a firecracker. You were telling me only last night that uh, you tried to get in a fight with a girl after a. After some karaoke, who was half your age? No, I did not. She, she did what did she do? You, when she has, I mean, one beer. If I like, have a couple of drinks, I get a little fiery. I yeah. get a little fiery. There's not even a little fiery. It's just like it's it just the 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 white trash oozes out of my family. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't say I can't tell a story can't from my dad because it. it's too offensive. I know I've already told you, but I wanted to. I was going to say something about the dad too, but I can't. It's just I can't. Well, say. the beat around the bush. 
I won't, I won't even beat around the bush. But he said, but it's, but the, uh, my mom is just, I mean, any, any time that happens, it's just, it's, it's abhorrent. It's, it's truly a crime. What do you think about this? Your, your son seems to have been softened I by. I would not agree. <laughs> uh, you keep answering also your, your tone of voice is very like, uh, you're on a trial. On a trial. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't agree. I don't agree. I mean, I Please, don't Senator, agree. can I go? <laughs> can I be let free? Oh, just don't agree. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Sometimes you don't agree. I can't think. I don't think my mom or dad did anything kind of that crazy. I, they did. I you just don't re- know. I would refuse to believe your dad did anything. He besides did. Be a, I think I've said this before, but he did like people. I can't remember why, but I think like <laughs> some younger guys would pay him to go like buy them condoms which is a weird thing to think about but maybe there's some reasons that for weird. that especially hearing your dad's voice i'd love to hear him being like sure i'll do that for you <laughs> definitely not what he sounds like <laughs> no i can't his, his voice is too perfect but it's very deep i gotta pee again deep and see that's what i'm saying I can't help it. Huh. interrupting the show left and right what about you all is i mean did you is? do some shitty stuff to some people oh my sorry i finished my dad's story thing <laughs> yeah. uh he too. like one of the guys didn't pay him so he like put pinholes in the condoms and gave them to him anyway. Oh, oh, okay. That's like, that's not worse than sand in the gas tank. Hello, baby. You're welcome. That's bad. Light of your life. Yeah, there you go. I think that, that was just, that was just divine punishment. And you were, you were mean to a lot of people. What about Boots? <laughs> okay. Boots was, that was a tragic tale. Actually, you know, a lot of those people that I used to be dicks to, I, I messaged them after high school and apologized. I bet you haven't messaged Boots. I don't know if I ever did. You did. Boots? There's a girl in, my, in our school where she was like a witch or something. She would always cast spells and shit. But she wore these cowboy boots every day, so everyone called her boots. That's kind and of And my cute. buddy Delorber would, would always be like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he'd be like, right in the, early in the morning, right as soon as he walked in, bored in boots. <laughs> Just like that. And she'd be like, fuck you, Delorber. <laughs> Just a little shit like that. I mean, she wasn't too bad. There was a uh, bow. That was rough. Oh, I yeah. messaged Bo, mm-hmm. and I, I apologized. I'm glad to that you did. Mm-hmm. Wait, what did you do to Boots? I just I mean, just you know, called her a, Boots and shit. An you know? I, I really don't morning. think anything that abhorrent. Enough to where if I saw her now or something, she I'd be like, sorry. Be like, You're a dick. Yeah, I mean, I would be like, that's justifiable. Same with uh, Bo and Bo. I remember I was like, yeah, it's such a dick to him. Mm-hmm. All sorts of stuff. Just a weird kid. What'd you to do to Bo? I mean, just. Just, just, just kids that just like don't let somebody just be you know yeah pestering like there was at one time he shit his pants in pe class in front of these <laughs> girls they asked out and he like tripped and stuff and i remember everybody was hitting him with like dodgeballs and shit like just like really like just like really just like beating a guy while he's down and that was like all the time like just like any kind of thing he kept saying he was gonna change his name people kept calling him ribbon for like the rest of the year and stuff like that <laughs> Why? You, how are so many people in your sphere shitting their pants all the time? <laughs> I think that it might just be the. It's probably just a zonal thing. Coffee. Coffee. Do you know I, a lot I, of people who shit start, their pants? I didn't. No. Me I, either. I really don't know. In this people. sphere that I exist in, in every I hear state about that I've people. ever lived, I have seen somebody that's maybe I just maybe are I'm you? just I gravitate towards Utah. people that shit their pants. California. I mean, every, even New California, York. In New sure. York, especially people shit their pants all Texas? the time in New York. Not yet. That's oh, because I, you're not I, around. I, I, it's I a Lone Star State. I'll sh- I'm going to shit my shit pants here. before the year ends, just to prove you wrong. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just well, to make sure, that state, <laughs> make sure that the state has one under its belt. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked. Interesting. Today's video is also sponsored by Bad Dragon. Do you like fantasy dildos? Sure you do. I like to plant them to my shower wall and ride them vigorously to get a good start to my day. I personally can't get up without it. Folgers, move on over. Bad Dragon's here to stay. <coughs> I like the ones. <laughs> I like. I like the ones. Don likes to come inside the dog muzzle. No, one. it's his I favorite. Because he I does. Because loves I it very a, much. I have a dog. Such so a I, wide selection. I could never. Such high quality. Bad Dragon is here to satisfy every kind of sexual fantasy you've ever had with reliable, quality products. Personally, Personally I'm a fan of, of the, the Sugar Star. Star. You use that too? I hear Don uses the one that looks like a dog's mouth. So weird. And also, if you're on the smaller side, like my co-hosts, they have products that you can attach to yourself to give yourself magical fantasy enhancements. It's the only way my wife can get off. You can put a horse stick on your dick. That's my favorite. I don't know. They're awesome. They make good shit. If you're interested in getting a dildo, 
or any kind of sexual product, whether it be a gift or for yourself, be sure to check them out. They make good shit. Thank you, Bad Dragon. Love you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. We got to think of some questions. Mm. Let her rip. What are the burning questions you have for your mom? What are the burning questions? Mm. Let's get let's get deep. Do you get people <laughs> um from your school and stuff messaging now that you've got some YouTube thing going on? No. Sometimes I get messages from people like that. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I get like I mean, it's like a once in a while, but it's usually people that I have to like talk to during school and stuff like that it's never like hey remember me you know it's never mm. like yeah. that is that how it is for you is it random a little bit yeah sometimes yeah. Hmm. although you have a reunion next year yeah i don't does your does your uh do you think you guys would do like a 10 year or anything i like don't that? do that mm. yeah i don't i don't think that we do that anymore either like usually there's one there's a five year one because usually people are done with college and it's a year after whatever yeah we never did that and then a 10 year one but i i have heard nothing about it do you think there's some like selection bias that goes on though? Like only the successful people will come back to it. I don't know. I mean, like from I mean, I honestly only know this too through movies, and usually it's just like ever people who live in the town come. I don't think like American that. Pie is a good barometer of oh, reality. American Pie. Mm-hmm. There's there's other ones, other ones out there. Zach I mean, and Mary make a porno. It's one that comes to mind. Yeah, she's been usually, to a couple. Of I've been to quite ones. a few of my reunions. Oh, okay. I'll have my thirty-five. It's just after you follow with Zach and Miri make a porno, and you're like, yeah. "Shit, shit, uh, <laughs> it's a good." I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a good. Uh, it's a good movie. I have quite a few people from our high school um, go to the reunions. I like it. Do you go? Um, I have probably to half of them. Mm. Yeah. Do they do it every five years for you? No, it's five and ten, and then it's like every ten years. Mm. Well, but I don't know. I think we're doing a thirty-five year one this year just because people are kicking it. Mm. Probably really? Like deaths. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Well, I mean, old. It's like 40. What, you're about 40 years old, Missy? Yeah. 60, 65. So 40, mm, 40. But body starts to fail. 35. Mm-hmm. This just seems like early for people to be just like kicking 50s. the but, kicking yeah. the bucket. I think, I, think people people I think it's also probably just like kick it. Yeah. your body starts failing, but then also just like Missouri shit. People have been eating smoking drinking their whole well, it's life it's not missouri shit they do that shit in texas i feel like it's probably well i mean it's probably true too but i just feel like in the lower income areas i feel like it's probably more in the lower incomes area we just say fuck it we're gonna eat our ass off casey's taco pizzas fucking kind casey's of the miracle of uh, microwaving casey's plastic casey's taco pizza if you haven't had one immediately right now casey's pretty good get your ass there and get a taco pizza it's freaking fabulous it's like a gas station in Missouri. It's a delight. What is wrong with you people? It's like a Bucky's it's pretty, it's pretty good. 1% that big. And you go in there and get you a it's taco funny. pizza. And mm-hmm. No, it is pretty good pizza. Yeah. A taco it pizza. Is. Yeah. yeah you get kind that. of the miracle of modern society that you can be low income and still kill yourself through food. Sure. It's wow. impressive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's a modern phenomenon, you know? You go back far enough, you die from lack of food because you're poor. And now you're... Yeah, you eat too much just, plastic and shit now. Well, <laughs> plastic and all that. Ah, plastic. yes. <laughs> that's yep. just what it is. it is. Fucking everything, everything that's like uh, processed and everything. I feel like it just has like all these weird chemicals and shit. Yeah, and, it'll you know, kill you. Just, oh yeah, dude. Just, I've like I've got a soft rule that I feel like it probably is going to work somehow. And it's like if something's unnatural to do deg- to a degree, you best avoid it. And that goes as far as like shampoo. You I know? think that's very smart. So like you people use shampoo. Maybe once a month I like wash my hair. Fuck, really? Yep. Have you have you ever seen my hair and thought, man, his hair is disgusting? No. Well, usually, but f- no. Nope, I probably. never have. Thank you, Missy. Probably, maybe one day, maybe one day a month, I'll be like, his hair looks nice today. I have to wash. You're not That's supposed to not wash your hair, hair every day, but I do. <laughs> I have to wash my hair. Hair every day, or it's gross. Well, probably because you have dyed it to no end. That doesn't. Well, that's the other thing. Like they always discover this shit. They're always like, oh, uh, fucking. They it's discover fine. hair hair dye gives you some form of cancer. Like armpit stuff had aluminium in it, and that gives you fucking breast cancer and shit. Yeah. So I've just kind of figured out that the more unnatural something is in general, it's probably that's better true. to avoid it. That's true. I mean, you know, still going to take antibiotics if I get the plague. I'm not fucking retarded, but right. it's kind of my. Loose rule. That's a you know what I say? This is probably how you feel, too. What? Let the dices roll. I do. Let mm. the dices roll. When I like time? to... No, I like you to like, like the dice. You know what I like? I like sugar-free stuff. 
Me too. That's see, that's probably also the artificial 100%. sweetener. Yeah, it's just plastic. Yeah. It's just no, fucked. I, I, I like I'll, it too. I'll, but I'll tell you what's good is that Gold Peak diet or the sugar free. You just can't beat it. Tea. It's good stuff. Yeah, it is. It's I drink sugar free Red Bull like I'm not a paragon of my I virtues. Do but drink some I'm hoping that, that my body's just well. so unhealthy for so long because you know, like, see how many times you've seen like a really in shape person they drop like flies, and you look at like some fucking greasy asshole who Big lives fat to be pig super that old. Went, yeah. That usually happens all the time. I think it's confirmation bias. And it's Maybe. your thought about it. I think it's it's like uh, someone who's super fit, they die, it's like noteworthy. So it sticks in your head. Mm. Yep. And then you think about it. You're like, well, but he was so healthy. How could he die? Whereas like a like a really unhealthy person kicks the bucket, you don't even really think about you're it. You're like, yeah. So you don't True. like count well, it. You know, if I, if I live to be a little longer, or if I kick the... We'll, we'll, have, we'll use me as a reference. Okay. I will be the first one to go. I think I like. I don't think I'll outlive you. How's that make you feel? I feel like you will. We'll I don't see. like that. We'll it see. irritates me. I feel like I'll live to be about <clears throat> late seventies, and then I'm done. How old your mom? Late seventies, pretty nice. My mom's seventy-five. She looks great. She does look delightful. Yeah, she's very active too. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. She goes to the gym and you know walks mm-hmm. and stuff, but. That's I don't know if drinking. I want to be here much longer nah. than that. I'm done. You don't want to see uh, what else happens with your boy? Nah. You know, grandkids I'll, and stuff? By that point, I'll be done oh, too. Oh, yeah, but by I'm in my late 70s. They'll probably be little pieces of shit. Really, honestly, if I were yeah, you, I'd, I'd, like, I'd just take it they're out. They're irritating. And, yeah. mm. You can, nah, you give them back. That's the best part about grandkids, isn't it? Well, if I they're being know. irritating, you just give them back. All the my grandkids, daughter's probably not going to have any. All the grandkids that I've ever been around, especially on my mom's side of the family, I'm not going to say anything bad, but I don't like them. Hmm. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like kids. Is the thing with my thing. It's different when you have your own, though. When you have your own kid, it's different. Yeah, you. It well, you, you said it that is. too, but I'm just like, you know, what I want to do. I just want to adopt, just like a Chinese kid. Nothing wrong with that. Or anybody, anybody who just needs to be adopted. I'm just like, why Chinese? Out of curiosity, I feel like it's the, uh, from what I've seen and r- research and stuff. Research and stuff. Really, I, I have. I've looked. I've looked up adoption shit before, and Chinese. Children in general are they're just like, fucking like, giving them away. Literally, like two hundred bucks. Please, two hundred bucks. Please. Literally, I'm not even joking. Like two hundred bucks. That's a high quality child too. They'll play piano like no no one's business. That's true. I feel like also I you know they're going to be a doctor. Yeah, you know they can come, sell on math. You can be like I don't care about do any of that. Equation? I just like the idea of it's just like I don't know. I feel like I would I would grow as a person. Doing I would love to have any versus versus I don't give a damn what versus it is. having my own child. I feel like it's just gonna be a huge setback to my life. But I feel like I'd be doing something productive by adopting. That's true. You'd be doing something productive by making a new child. Either way, it's productive. Just another mouth for the world. I could just take one that's already in line. Take our Come one that me. somebody didn't want. They're like, yeah, do well, it's already you know, ruined. You know, you know if they didn't do? want it, why would you? You know, what exactly. I probably do as well as I probably get like brothers or brother and sister, so that way they have some kind of connection. Ooh, but then you get a twofer. That's harsh. No, that's really harsh. I'd like to think that we would all be very happy. I don't think so. I would be ecstatic. I would love it. Grandkids. Yes, I would love Mm -hmm. it. Although I would not like being far away from the grandkid. Sounds like you might need to move Mummy Meat Canyon down to Texas. Yeah, bye bye. She has her thing going on. She could have her thing going on I here. Thing I have my on. thing going on here. Pickleball's prevalent in Texas. I hear that. Yeah. She's very big into pickleball. I do like that. I feel like that also ages you incredibly. It makes you young, obviously. Keeps you young. All the people. Active. There's, you know, I mean, like 80 year olds play on your thing. Mm-hmm. They're well, good too. Would They'll you spoil the shit you. out of your grandkids? Yes. I yes. love it. You're yes. going to make them into monsters? No. I would do whatever. Allison wanted me to do with those kids. Oh, I don't believe that. There's always a bit so of a conflict between grandma and mum, isn't yeah, there? I love her. She's a delight. Mm. She really is. Are you, talking, are you talking in the third person about yourself here? or No, I'm talking about Allison. Oh, Allison, put, right. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you know would, she feels the same way about you? She probably does. Can't imagine or not. <laughs> it's true. I don't, you've, you've got close contact with your wife, I assume. How do does you? she feel about your mum? I would hope you do. She likes her, yeah. Hmm. She loves me. I think that my mom is really very very easy to be around. Yeah, my Probably dad's very am. uncomfortable, very odd. Mm-hmm. I think I've already said this before, but yeah, the first time I ever brought like a girlfriend over, he like hugged her for like a long time, and she was like, "That was very odd. It was too yeah. long." It's, that's and uncomfortable. He, yeah, and like his like whole like his whole like appearance to be nice is like he wears like a wife beater. Jean shorts and he like combs his Jean hair. Shorts, <laughs> shorty shorts. Like and he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" My, my, my lemmy cut off. 
Or Pretty, I mean, not yeah. even that. It's just like a, literally a wife beater. Or so he wears like he wears like a wife beater and like denim short shorts and combs his hair to the not side. Short, really, not not really short shorts, but they're tight like, ones where the ball sack is separated, and you're like, oh, yeah. I don't know about all that, but I just it was. And just, he just hugs her for how long? Well, she's just like, "Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Chad." And he like hugs her for like maybe like twelve seconds to where you're oh. like, "That's like a long time." What like, is she? Did she say anything? Invasive. She was like, "Oh, nice. Hi." Okay, like a couple. She things. becomes and a then, board, like. And geez. then usually, whenever it's done, she goes behind me, and then they're just like, "That was a long time." Do you think he was like enjoying it? No, I think he just doesn't know how to express emotions and feelings to people who aren't like seventy-eight years old. That's my dad. Just hangs around yeah. people who are like at death's door all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Older I th- men. I think. Well, I think it also it's like a time thing. Like uh, that generation. It's my dad. My dad. He likes to cop a feel. You know, hmm. and really? I think well back in his day, I think that was all right. I think you has kind he of, felt up before? Oh no, 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 no. Um, he, I think he's learned his lesson. Mm. But uh, you bleep but her he name wants too. To. You're saying he oh, wants yeah. to, but he doesn't. But just like my mate's mom, like I've got a friend uh, whose mom, whenever he he sees her and he gives her a hug or whatever, he just like grabs her ass and tries to like kiss her. She's like, no, nah, eh, whatever. Oh, okay. It's just a bit. It's that. <laughs> yeah. it's, the, it's the time they were raised in for yeah, real yeah. they were just you get your eyes on me yeah it's uh it was it was he, he did it in very inappropriate mm. place and person once which i won't go into for his sake mm. but uh mm. yeah he he was given a talking to after <laughs> about his antics sometimes, sometimes you just need it you need to have the chat <laughs> You need you need a, to, you, you need bad times change. You can't be squeezing girls' asses without permission. <laughs> yeah, those, yeah. Days, those days are. Gone. Why? What are you what talking, are you about? talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bloody care. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, he's he's uh, he's reformed and behaves himself, but very nice. Just a different time, and I feel like it's probably the yeah. same story with your dad. Probably different time. You know, you yeah. you watch back like. Again, Sex and the City, mm-hmm. and the things that they do and are okay with, it's kind of like, whoa, shit. Mm-hmm. You can't make that today. Like that episode where that guy is like videotaping all the girls he's fucking, mm-hmm. and Carrie just sits there and watches it, doesn't oh, bat an eye. She's yeah. just like, that's crazy. And then Samantha's like, I want to get fucked on camera. Mm-hmm. And she goes, do you, do you know what I mean? It's just mm. different time. It, it is. Different. And that was only what, 30 years ago? Context doesn't it's matter, bad. Tom. Stop. Yeah, I know. Mm. I'm sorry. That's Rapist true. pigs. Mm. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Rapist pigs out there. There's a lot of those. Closing remarks, Mom. What do you have to say for the to the to the fine viewers of this podcast? I say thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my podcast. When it comes out, I'll let you know. Pickle, what's it called? Pickle and pistons. Maybe pissed and pickled. Pissed and pickled. That's what pickled. we're going with. Um, sure. Give me some feedback about that. I kind of like that name. I, mean, I told pickled. her I liked it earlier. I thought it was nice. It's that a good branding. Good. Pissed and pickled. Because piss, you can talk about anything you're pissed, pissed about every day. With. And then pickled, you always oh, have Lori and Missy. Piss, not pissed in. No, no, pissed. Pissed. In. And then you're pickled. And Maybe pickled. we'll drink on the podcast sometimes. So pissed Maybe and pickled. See, I heard pissed we'll and pickled. Will. And pissed I thought that was very raunchy. Yeah, pissed, pissed and pickled. Pissed and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pickled. Yeah. Okay, well, I vote for pissed and Pickled, not pissed and pickled. I like pickled. P- pissed and pickled is good. Pissed and pickled is pissed better. Pickled. Pissed, urine, and pickled. Pissed in like pissed a jackhammer, pickled like a penis, pissed and pickled. Okay. Not not pickled like a penis. I mean, a penis really isn't pickled, is it? Pissed and eggplant. Oh. Mm-hmm. Something hmm? to ponder. Hmm. Eggplant, yeah. pissed and pickled. Pickled. Pickle. Pickled. I don't know. I got nothing. Pickled Pickled. goes with pickleball or we'll probably have a cocktail. With pickles. With pickles. (laughs) That's disgusting. That sounds so sour and gross. I can yeah, we probably find a good one. Pickle. Yeah. Well, is that it? Did you have any final questions you want to ask your mom? Any final questions? Not that I'm aware of. All right. No. Anything you wanted to talk to your son about? Hmm. Not on camera. (laughs) All right. Uh, well, we'll, be back, we'll be back soon. Don will be back soon as well. Mommy Meat Canyon 2.0. 2.0. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Well, you're welcome anytime. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.